Mr. Dissis is here. We're going to explore how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Remember that a cylinder is formed that has two circles, one top circle, one big circle, and the distance between the two circles are called high, is the height of the cylinders. So remember circle, you will have two circles in a cylinder. So if you break it down, you will end up with your two circles. And you will have two circles. And with the center connect to to a part of the circle is the radius. And you have another circle, both circles are supposed to be congruent. Assume that everything is the same. You have another R. And if you break it open, then you will end up with what you call a rectangle. So that's what you will have when you fold the net of a cylinder. So you will end up with two circles and a rectangle. So those are the scenarios we end up with. So this is a B. This is one of the base. This is another base. Remember capital B stand for base area and this will become the height that was the distance between the two circles so we label it with H this is the height and it's also called the width of the rectangle so the distance remember the distance to travel around a circle is called circumference and that will be the length of the circle the length of the rectangle so the length is equal to the circumference so those are the information that we have we're gonna see if we can come up with the formula so remember this is uh, this is the base so we have two bases, so 1B plus 2B, so we'll end up 2B. That's when you're looking for surface area of a cylinder. The bases are circled, you have two circles. So remember, B is for this area. Right. And we have a rectangle, which is the net. So remember to find the area of a rectangle is length time width. In this case, that will be a C time H, length time width. So C, C, H plus C, H. That will give you the total surface area for a cylinder. So let's break this down. This is the area of the base. So the base is this is circle so we will know how to find area of a circle area of a circle is pi r squared so since we have two of them you will have to multiply this by two so you will end up with two pi r squared for the area of the base this is called area of the base plus C is circumference. How do you find the circumference of a circle? This is circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Then you're going to time the height. That will give you the total surface area of a cylinder. This is how you come up with the formula. Now we can go to some applications. Let's, have, let's elaborate on that. This part is called this area. And this part is called lateral area. That will give you the total surface area of this cylinder. Right? A cylinder composed of two circles. 
So you will, you will have to find base area of an area of the two circles. Area of one circle is pi r squared. Since you have two circles, you will have multiplied by two. So we'll end up with two pi r squared for the base area of the cylinder. And the lateral area, is, which is a rectangle, area of a rectangle is length and width. In this case, the length is the circumference of the circle. Uh, the width is the height. The height is located between the two, the distance between the two circles. So that will give you, when you do length time width, you will end up with C time H. C is the circumference, which is 2 pi R time H. That will give you the lateral area. So we end up with that. So be careful when you're looking for area, surface area of a cylinder. So sometimes you can ask you only for the base area. If you ask you for the base area, in this case, you're only looking for the area of the circle. If they ask you to find the lateral area, in this case, they're asking you to find the area of the rectangle. So if they ask you to find the total surface area, you have to give both area of the circles and plus the area of the rectangle. So be aware of this kind of question. Those could be a curveball coming at you. All right? Base area, you find the area of the two circles. Lateral area, you only find the area of the rectangle. So let's do some application. We have a cylinder here. We are going to find the total surface area. In this case, we can only leave the answer in terms of pi. So we're going to apply this formula. In this case, the radius of the cylinder is 3, is 3 feet. And remember, area always expressed in square unit. And the height is 6 feet. So in this case, we're going to find the total surface area. That will be 2 times pi times r squared. In this case, r squared is 3 feet. So we're going to square it. So at the end, we're going to put the feet squared. Plus 2 pi r h, 2 pi r, which is 3 feet time height which is 6 feet and remember everything is feet squared so we're going to leave the answer in terms of pi so we're going to square this that will give you 9 that will give you 2 pi times 9 plus 2 times 3 that will give you 6 pi times 6 and you're going to simplify that you're going to end up with 18 pi plus 36 pi. So if you take 18 plus 36 pi, that will gonna give you 54 pi feet squared. This is the surface area. Right? This is the area of the base. This is the lateral area. And remember that we leave the answer term for pi, we do not replace it. If you want to replace it, so they, they will have to tell you what the, what estimation to use for pi, either pi as pi or 3.14 or 22 over 7. That would be one of the scenarios that you will have to, to do. We are going to find the surface area of this of the cylinder where you are giving the diameter, the diameter is 12 centimeter. D is equal to 12 cents, D is equal to 12 centimeter. In order to find R, we will take 12 centimeter divided by two. Then in this case, R will be six centimeter. And as you know, the height is given to you, which is 15 centimeter. And remember, area expressed in square unit. So in this case, uh, it will be expressed as centimeter squares. So we're going to find the area since we already established the total surface area of the cylinder is 2b, all right, plus lateral area, which is la, all right. Lateral area, so we have to 
two circles, area of a circle is pi r squared. And since we have two of them, we have two circles, we'll have to multiply by two. And now the whole area is ch, c is for circumference, so the circumference is 2 pi r and time height. So that will be the lateral area. This is the formula that we are going to apply. And some book also, instead of C for circumference, they use PH, P for perimeter. Perimeter is the same thing as circumference. So we're going to replace our parameters in this problem. R and H, so you will have the total surface area, which is 2 pi. You're going to leave pi in terms of pi and r which is 6 centimeters so you're going to square that plus 2 pi r in this case r which is 6 centimeter times h which is 15 centimeter all right then we're going to evaluate that and you'll have sa equal 2 pi Time 36 centimeters squared. Also, the unit is being squared. All right, plus 12 centimeter, 12 pi centimeter times 15 centimeter. All right, this is gonna give you 72 pi. 2 pi times 36 squared, that's going to give you 72 pi centimeter squared plus 12 times 15, I believe is 180. 10 times 15 is 150 plus 2 times 15 is 30, that will give you. 180 pi centimeter squared. Now we're going to take 180 plus 72. All right, the 72 is the area of the base since we have two circles. That will be area of the base, and this will be the lateral area, which is the area of the rectangle. So you will end up with 2, 15. I'll give you 252 pi centimeter squared. That will be the total surface area. The total surface area for this problem will be SA equal 252 pi centimeter squared. Area always expressed in square unit. And remember that we're living the answer in terms of pi. So pi could be 3.14 if it, that's what they are asking you to use, or pi could be 22 over 7, but the best answer for pi is pi, as the pi symbol. So the same problem we're going to apply also to find the volume of this problem. Remember to find the volume of a cylinder that V equal area of the base which is capital B time height and remember that area of the base is circle is pi r squared time h and that will be cubic unit since you're looking for volume that will be cubic centimeters all right now the only thing we have to do is to replace those parameters all right we're going to leave the answer in terms of pi that would be r squared, that would be 6 centimeter squared times 15 centimeter. All right? And in this case, time pi. And we will end up with v equal 36 centimeter squared times 15 centimeter times pi. Now we will take 36 times 15. That will give you 30, 33, 
that will be 15 plus 3 is 18 and 1 times 6 is 6 1 times 3 is 3 you will end up with 0 that will give you 14 that will give you 500 for the volume of this sensitive of cylinder there will be 540 pi centimeter cube that will be the volume of that and remember pi is a symbol you can leave it as that or you replace it by the value that is given to you you are being asked to find the volume of this composite figures as you can see you have a cylinder plus a cone so we're going to find the volume of each figure separately then we're going to sum, in, sum them up because they are on top of each other we're going to find both volume then you add them up remember that to find volume of a cylinder is capital B times the height since we're also finding the volume of a cone that will be plus the capital B times height over 3 so that will be the volume of the composite figure the first volume is the volume of the cylinder the second volume is the volume of the cone so let's see what is given to, to us we know for the for both cylinder and the cone the radius the radius is 28 centimeter that for cylinder and also for the cone and for the cone the radius the radius is also 28 centimeter the height the height of a cylinder is 45. The height of this cylinder is 45 centimeter. And both the height and the cylinder combined is 90. Therefore, we're going to subtract 45 from the height of the cylinder so we can find the height of of the corner in this case the out of the front also be 45 that's how you'll have 45 plus 45 is equal to 90 that the height the <laughs> excuse me the height of the corner is also 45 so this which is easy so we can only find the volume of the cone Whatever it is, we must vary by 3 to find the volume of the cylinder. Or we can find the volume of the cylinder, whatever it is, we divide by 3. So, whatever the volume of the cylinder is, it will be one third of volume of the cone. So, the cone is one third volume of the cylinder, vice versa. So, we can figure this out. In this case, we're going to, as you know, that. Capital B is area of the base. So since the base of the cylinder is a circle, so it's pi r squared for the area of the base times height. That's how we're going to find the volume of the cylinder. And the volume of the cone is the base is a circle is pi r squared h over 3. So we're going to insert those things and find the total outcome. In this case, we will end up with pi r squared, that will be 28 centimeter. All right, you square that, times the height, which is 45 centimeter. That will give you the volume of the cylinder, All right? plus the volume of the cone you have to divide by three whatever that you find you divide by three as you can see it will be the same outcome the only thing you will have to divide by three so that will be 28 centimeter squared 
and the height which is also 45 centimeter now we're gonna need some help calculator with those numbers so as you can see we will have to take 28 you raise it to the second power that give you 784 then you will have V equal 784 centimeter squared and remember you still time that by pi and you time that by 45 that will give you the total as you can see gonna do the same thing here the only thing you divide by 3 you will have pi 28 centimeter squared will give you 784 centimeter squared and times 45 pi 45 centimeter not pi excuse me in this case as you can see 3 goes to 45 15 times so we're able to simplify the third all right now you will have that 7 784 I calculate one out, so we'll have go by hand, 784 times, times 45, that will give you big number, the volume is 35,285 cubic centimeters. That's the volume of the cylinder. Now we're gonna add the volume. It, same thing, you plug take that and you take the third of it, the calculator click. Done now, don't me. So we'll have to go by hand, 784 times 15. How you take this to divide by three? So we still have to use calculator 784 times 15. I'll give you 20, eight times, five times eight is 40, carry the two is 42, carry four, five times seven is 35, 35 plus four is 39. So one times four is four, one times eight is eight, one times seven is seven. So you will have six, 17, 10, 11, that will give you 11,760 pi centimeter cube. Now you're going to add that to 35,285. So that will give you 0, that will give you 14. A two that's ten two seven and that will give you forty seven thousand zero zero forty seven forty seven thousand forty pi. So the combined volume will be forty seven thousand forty pi a lot of pi cubic centimeter that would be the both volume combined that's what uh, that's how you find the volume of a composite figure that was mr disease in both volume and surface area of cylinders that was another one so watch those videos share it and try to make the grade